What's up guys? So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the 2x72 belt grinder that I've um, been building. It's um, going good. It's near completion. Been a few little hiccups along the way and things that I've changed that I didn't really like the way I'd done them. And I mean, at the end of the day, I've just built this thing from um, Google Images and watching other people's videos and taking what I think and trying to reiterate it in my mind how I would like it to be. So um, basically I've just used a, a 12 volt treadmill motor and I was running the treadmill controller. There's that big bulky thing there. Um, it was a pain to use because you obviously got to wait so long for the machine to start up and all that sort of stuff. So under bigger and better things, I've um, come across um, a website where people are building things with Arduino. Um, so basically I've created an Arduino circuit that will um, control this thing with a trim pot and an on-off switch. So it's really, really come to life. I mean, a lot of people in the past have been using MC60 controllers, but um, I can't even find one so and if you do find one people want like three hundred dollars with it in the treadmill so I got this treadmill for next to nothing and um, it's it's working so the Arduino is controlling the MC2100 controller that I have perfectly so um, I'm just going to show you a bit of a rundown and give you a little scope of how I build it I mean yeah let's see what you think and give me um, a bit of feedback so stand by so we'll start off with the motor. It's a continuous two and a half horsepower treadmill motor. Uh, on the flywheel, I actually machined a piece of pipe that fit on it to widen it so you could actually take the two inch wide belt. As you can see there, it gives a little bit of purchase there and it's, it's also crowned on either side so it helps it track. Um, spring loaded um, upper adjustment which works pretty well and then you got your tracking up the top and again the top wheels crowned just to help with tracking and whatnot but yeah at the end of the day I've just built it out of scrap steel so it doesn't look pretty but it will once I paint it up and all that so pretty stoked with it it's all heavy gauge stuff so it doesn't vibrate doesn't flex but uh, yeah the, the thing I like is the uh, adjustable platen so you can see here with the radius slot I can undo that screw lean it back lean it forward so that's real handy and then it also lets you square this up perfect and you want to get that precision happening um, yeah these wheels are just machined out of Delrin black Delrin bar um, with some bearings and spacer in between the bearings just helps stiffen everything up and um, yeah so I've got an adjustable um, pre-made knob there just to wind the tracking in and out and same with the um, tool holder so I've got two there just for a little bit more support and yeah just um, got a little spacer in there just to help take out any slop and keep it all nice and square and again same as the tool rest that's all adjustable as well so I can slide that in and out because when this tilts forward or back the tool rest actually interferes with the platen, so you got to get it at the right angle. So it's been a bit of a learning curve for me. I mean, I'm just a carpenter, and I like enjoying, I like mucking around with metal and welding and things like that. So yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that anyway. So and just so when I bolt this up, it don't squash the pipe. I've actually welded a few sleeves in there um, yet to cap that off with a plastic cap and um, finish all that up. Yeah, so. Probably just going to give it a quick coat of paint. Um, I was thinking powder coat, but I don't really want to muck around with all the thickness it puts on all the joints and moving parts, because this here is a real tight fit just to, just to start with, so I don't really want to add a heap of gunk on there just for powder coat, and so we'll see what happens. But I'm um, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with it, and I'm um, going to probably build a, a knife, or try to, never build a knife before but have a go anyway stand by as I'll um re I'll put this camera up on a stand and I'll I'll get the belt hooked up and switch her on
So we've got a 60 grit um, Norton Blaze on there at the moment, and I've not got a hardened steel file here. Um, it just eats it up like it's nothing. So building a knife's gonna be no competition for this thing, but the beauty of the Arduino is I just flick this switch on, turn the knob. And there you go, it's running, so if I can get it going faster. hard and still like I mean it's great and the beauty of the Arduino circuit is I've just switched that off but I've left it on max speed um, so I want to get back in there and grind another little bit um, I don't have to muck around resetting the dial where I was and all that sort of stuff it'll remember where I was so I'll just flick that back on and it'll go back to full speed It resets itself back at any speed. So if you're in between f full ball and turned down, say you're in mid in the mid range of that trim pot, I just flick it back on and it'll go back to that speed. So yeah, it's pretty handy. Um, I'm pretty impressed with my knowledge. I mean, I'm not an electrical engineer or anything like that, but I would like to have a go of everything and it worked out pretty well. So um, yeah, next project I'm gonna be doing is trying to build this knife um, out of some piece of Damascus. Thinking for the handle, just um, like uh, three brass rivets and possibly purple heart as the handle. I'm not too sure yet, just whatever I can get my hands on. But um, basically that's why I wanted a knife grinder to start getting into doing things like this and see where it gets me. But um, yeah, I'll have a video up on my channel on that soon. And yeah, just um, let me know what you think of the grinder and I'll, I'll do another update when I've painted it and give you a look. But I've been pretty quiet on the channel and just um, show you what I've been mucking around with really. So thanks heaps for watching. Um, also... If you want to know how I hooked up the Arduino to the MC2100, hit me up and um, I'll send you some links of um, the coding and what parts you need to buy and things like that. And it's really, really simple to get going. Um, all right. Thanks, guys.